I don't know if calling it a fresh start is the right way to say it, but I felt like I needed to try something new while still doing photography. I just felt like I wasn't enjoying it as much as I used to. You know, I feel like when you start doing photography or the first time you get a DSLR, you get so excited to go out there, try this uh, new camera, have the blurry background and you get the nice bokeh or bokeh. But then recently I felt like it wasn't like that fun. And don't take me wrong, it doesn't mean that I don't like photography any, anymore or I think photography is boring. No, it's none of that. I just feel like I needed something extra, if that makes any sense. In 2019, during the pandemic times, when it was all crazy and everything was getting shut down, sorry, I promise I won't talk about that anymore, but during that time, I decided to get this camera right here. That is the Nikon N2000. It was one of the cheapest SLRs that they had on Amazon, and to be honest, Nikon is just my camera brand to go. It never lets me down, so I decided to go familiar. I already had some mano lenses, so I just had to get the camera for about $70, $80, and that was it. It took me almost three years to develop my first three, four rolls of film. And um, when I first saw the pictures, it wasn't that long ago. It was actually just a couple months ago, around October, November of 2022. And I was really happy. Not precisely because of the pictures itself. To be honest, they weren't that good. And I think I only got three rolls out of four of them. Most of the film was a little bit deteriorated, so I didn't get really nice results out of those pictures. I just didn't take care of the film. I was so happy to see those pictures. Now, when you take a picture with your film camera, you don't have to wait years to see them. I'm currently doing uh, film photography weekly. I get to shoot one or two rolls of film a week and I probably won't be doing it that often just because film is not that cheap and neither developing it but uh, that's why I decided to make this video in the first place. As of now I have shot around 10 rolls of film since uh, December and it's given me a whole different perspective about photography. Not just about the pictures itself but all of it. From going on Saturdays to give me some film, to taking the film out of the box, putting it on the camera, loading the film, and hitting that shutter button for the first time. It's just a very undescriptable experience. Undescriptable or undescribable? I'm not sure, but you know what I mean. I hope so. I know it does sound very cliche to say all of this and how artistic photography is, and especially 35 or film photography in general, but it really is. It's just a crazy experience. And if you haven't experienced it, no matter if you have been doing photography just for a couple years or decades, well, if you've been doing it for decades, it's a pretty good chance that you've already done 35 uh, millimeter photography or film in general and uh, you think I'm an idiot but uh, if you haven't done it I think you should. When it comes to film photography it's not like DSLR or especially mirrorless cameras today where you don't have to worry much about anything. I have a cousin who always makes fun of me and says that the camera does it all 
and that and that there's not much that I'm really doing but pointing and shooting to a point she's right we both know that's not entirely true but when you think about film photography that doesn't even apply in the must minimum you can you know have a set ISO from your film and change it to a different ISO and push your film to one two or three stops and get really interesting results also for like a good roll of film you could be paying up to $15 sometimes even $20 depending where you're buying again if you're getting like really good film so every time you hit the shutter button, you know that picture has to mean something. And I don't mean that it has to have some sentimental value. I mean that you have to make that picture count. With mirrorless or DSLR or even your phones, you just hit that shutter button, you just take pictures left and right all day long and you don't worry about anything. You can format your SD card, you can put it on your computer and you can just edit those pictures and you know do it all over again and again with uh, film photography you have to pay for every single picture you take uh, especially if you don't load the film properly in the camera many things can go wrong from losing a couple frames to just losing your entire roll of film it's crazy how much my love for film photography has grown that i got a second film camera this is a much easier camera to use and it actually has some autofocus and I think it works pretty well. There is a vast uh, range of prices and camera sizes and shapes when it comes to film cameras. Honestly, I think it's, it has a bigger variety of uh, designs than nowadays uh, cameras. At this moment, I still have to get some of my scans back. Uh, hopefully that won't take long. On average, uh, it takes between seven to 10 days in any store or photo lab around me. Uh, but there's places that can definitely do it faster. And if there's not a place to do it close to you, you can always ship your film and uh, you can choose to get your film back or just to get your scans. And in the end, what I'm trying to say is that if you come to a point in photography where it's not so exciting anymore. I think film photography won't just make it fun again, but in general, you're gonna grow a much bigger appreciation for photography. And not just uh, pictures in general, but also photographers and film and all of, all of what it's behind, from film roles to developing them and all of that stuff. And if you decided now that you're gonna give it a try, I suggest uh, finding a local store, a, a local photo lab. Most of the times they sell film there. Most of the times they sell film cameras there. And if not, you can always look on Amazon or the marketplace. There's many places where you can find them. Your dad or your uncle or someone, some friend uh, might have one of them. Uh, hidden on their basement or something like that. Once you finish your roll of film, uh, don't take too long to send it for uh, developing. You won't regret it. And yeah, I recommend watching uh, film photography videos to know more about the subject. Uh, if you have any questions about these two cameras that I have or uh, anything, just let me know. Again, I'm pretty new at this. Thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. See ya.